I come with your favorite Mawasita of Cargo Niger back again today like I never left. You already know that Cargo Niger is your ultimate faith solution. Yes, your ultimate faith solution. And we are proud to live up to our customers' expectations. You know, I always tell you that Cargo Niger is not just your regular at cargo company. When we cargo, we have our customers' best interests at heart. At Cargo Niger, we ship. We promote our customers' brand, we cover for you, and we also educate and we socialize. As part of our moves and aspiration to educate the general public and our customers at large, Cargo Niger has brought to your table a weekly program we name The Real Gem Show. What does The Real Gem Show entail? The Real Gem Show entails bringing professionals in the field of entrepreneurship who will be here sitting with me to share with us their personal life, their social life, and how they become a professional in their field of entrepreneurship. You know now, when Mama Sita of Cargo Niger comes for you, she comes correct. I know I don't just do the regular. We do it in a unique and very educative way. So stay with your pastors because on our weekly program of um, the Real Gem, I will be bringing to you male and female in the business industry, highly gurus, tycoons in the business world, plenty of ways for us, the younger and the aspiring entrepreneurs. You know, now I mean, people that have come, they've seen, they've conquered, and they're still in the business world doing big and mighty things. So these are the kind of people that I will be bringing onto the show. Stay tuned as I bring on to you today one of our amazing, delectable business tycoon, my business guru, I mean someone who has actually seen a lot, been through a lot, and actually achieved a lot in the business world. My amazing legend for today will be coming into the picture very soon. So like I said, sweet people, today I have a legend on seat with me. So let's get to know her. Good day, ma'am. Hi, Zubas. Yes. Hi, you're so beautiful. I must compliment. Same as you, ma'am. Thank <laughs> you. So please, what's your name, ma'am? Can we get to know you? Okay, my name is... Um, Osama Sivirian Bissela. Okay. I'm the creative director of This Kiddies Event and This Charmant Event. This Kiddies Event. Yes. Wow. That's so beautiful. Um, I don't think I've had something like that before. I love the combination. How did you come about the name of your business, ma? Oh, well, my favorite name is Bissela. So, from Bissela, I actually got the bees. Oh, yeah. Which is Bissela. Show you what you can do. Yeah. Do you see the innovativeness? If there's anything like that, anyways. So, ma'am, what's your business into? Can you tell us more about the business? Oh, well, for my business, we're actually into the kiddies events. Okay. We love children so much, and that's wow. why we created um, this kiddies event to actually um, entertain the children okay. during their birthday parties and all that. Wow, wow. So basically you deal with um entertainment but in the children's segment. Exactly. Okay, is it like something like you pack gifts or you um what is it that you do? Yeah, well exactly. you know, for for that. Okay. The kids event actually is quite broad. Okay, ma'am. We have people that are actually into the party park section, okay. which I'm not into. Okay. But I am into the planning of the event. Okay. And also styling of the event. Yeah. So let's say your child wants to have a birthday party. Okay. You need to just contact me so that I can take you um for for I can take off the stress off you. Okay, so I, I think I'm beginning to understand her better. Is it like an event planner? But for the TV segment. Exactly. Uh, you know, I told you now, when Mama Sita comes, she comes correct. My cargo Niger people, can you see the goodies I've got to you now? I mean, whenever you have anything to do with your kids, put your mind at like, Just call, call this woman. She's there for you. Yeah, so, mom, you take it off for you. You don't need yeah, to get stress off you. You don't need to stress A to Z. <laughs> I need just call her and go to bed. Your baby's party is done. Exactly. Okay, ma'am. So, moving on, ma. I know we've said a little bit about your business, but before we dive into that, can you tell us more about your personal life? Where were you born? How did it go growing up and everything? Oh, well, I was born in Nibado. I'm from Nibado. I'm from Nibado. My growing up was actually in Osho State, which 
we should be okay mom i'm um, from the family of six wow. i'm the first female and um <laughs> and it's all well okay. uh, my level school was actually in Oshibu. okay i attended the Lamu school okay. when the secondary school was at Oshibu State University School in Oshibu, okay. and then um, Oshibu International School wow. so there i went to University of Abikiti where i did a um, diploma in law wow and then proceeded to UCC University <laughs> where i graduated from mass communications and media technology wow so venturing into business Wow, you can see I'm blushing from Mola to Mola. Just look at that profile, look at that beautiful, amazing, world cultured profile. Oh, God, you know, I always tell you guys on Cabo Naija, what we do for you, you can't get it anywhere. Let me get your regular iCargo copy. Look at the professional on seats with me. Can you hear how she's arranging everything? Thank you so much, ma'am. Can you tell me a little about growing up? How has it been? How was it for you? Are you from the rich? I come from a wealthy family. That is girl. That is baby. I don't really say I'm from I'm from a rich background. Okay. But I could I can easily say that my foundation was good. Beautiful. I will we have um it, 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 well, we have parents that are learned. Yeah. So of course they all, they actually want us to have um, enjoy our childhood, yeah. have um, beautiful childhood memories which I have. And I think that's what part of the things I'm portraying to the world now. Yeah. And then, um, growing up being the first um, female, female yeah. child, I've been the third one with two elder brothers. Mm. I mean, uh, I, I, I listen to responsibilities oh. earlier. I don't know responsibilities as in financial way, but I mean, as in taking care of the you child. You have to be responsible. Yes, exactly. Okay. So it's, it's been like that. It's mm. been like that for me. And sometimes I, 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 I resumed I resumed with the small money of the house in May until we turned that eight. Wow, wow. Yeah, exactly. That's that, that was how my growing up was I can't so then you can okay. say that you actually had a beautiful childhood and um you you were you were the mommy of the soldiers. <laughs> and you just had to be the responsible one. Exactly. It's beautiful actually. Exactly. You know, not everybody has it rough. And it's not a necessity in the world that we should all have it rough. So it's actually amazing to see that with an intellectual person who actually had a beautiful childhood. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. <laughs> mm -hmm. So moving on, ma, let's dive back into business world. Okay. How many years have you been in business? This is my sixth year. Wow. Six more years. Yes, six years. So this is my sixth year. How has six years in entrepreneurship been for you? Oh my goodness, it's been a roller coaster. Wow. There are the happy moments and there are the sad times. Wow. And we have sad times as well. Mm. Sad times as well, yes. I use it as a brief. A brief, oh, well. So you would actually learn, my audience will learn about it. Okay, I, I started my business in my city, my own city. I call the city, but my own city. Okay. And you know, I'm bringing such a business of that type. In the battle was quite taxing for me because you know I, I had to I had to like um beg or plead and beseech to people to actually patronize us yeah. and also you know because people were already used to the orthodox way of having parties just mm -hmm. parties balloons and that's all but for me my type of business is different from what it used to look like okay. You know, it's a unique for, setting for each child. Mm -hmm. For each child, I get to ask questions. Okay. What's the so you said I'm meeting you for the first time and you you want to patronize us or I want to pitch my business to you. Okay. I would ask you what are your what what are your child's favorite things? Okay. What are your child's favorite cartoons? Mm. What's your child's favorite color? Mm. All of these are things I actually combine together wow. before I would create a party. For you, and you know, we only say this all fingers are not equal, yes. yes At the same time, people are not the same, so, so that means all, for each child, all the children are actually different from each other. So, if um, maybe a, a or child A likes color blue mm. and is going for Power Rangers, child B can actually love color pink and go for badminton. So, you know, you have to you have to give them exactly. I know children of these days actually watch a lot of cartoons. Yes, right. And so then we try as much as possible. As my own brand, we always try to bring their imaginations to reality. Mm. You know, the kids always watch 
PJ Masks, yeah, 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 yeah. and all that. They watch all these cartoons on, on, on the internet. And they actually want to leave it. They have to leave it. So what we just do is just bring it out. Hmm. To yes, so that, for their birthday. So I have never seen a child who did a party for that would say he did not know he did or maybe it wasn't a special day for them. Yeah. So think starting something like that in the battle actually you know we have to just go in deep into a battle, look for the class of people that would really have interest in this. Mm. And you know for my city, like I'm at the borough of city. Mm. We always want to be like, oh, what are they doing? Mm. How does this look? Mm. Is this real? Mm. Can it be possible? Mm. I have this person is there yet to scam us. Mm. You know, the expense. Hope is not too expensive. Exactly. Mm. And so, and for each of the things we do, for each of the parties we do, of course, you would expect you would expect the financial aspect of it to to be there. Mm -hmm. So mostly, when we, when I first started, we had issues of people that didn't really trust us. Wow. With their money, mm. they felt ah maybe this person just wants to scam us. Maybe this person wants to lend me with our money. But we have to so exuberant. Exactly. So we have to make them believe in us. Wow. That was that was then when we started. Okay. And moving on, you know, of course, in other people, when you bring good things to them, you have to. Some people always want to just um, punish what you have done. Mm. Take away the sweat you have done, mm. and then from that end too, we have to like okay. Make people understand that it's not just about blowing balloons. Mm. It's not just about putting the words on. Like the realistic things, there are things. So I guess that's one of the things that actually makes our own brand, my brand, to stand out wow. in the battle. Okay. So for six years, I've met a lot of people, the good people. I would say the bad people. I would say the certainly not um, really interested people mm. and like that. But um, so far, so good. I would say my city has actually allowed us to to grow, mm. and then um, it's very wonderful. That's 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 a beautiful thing to hear. Like I think a thing or two from what she said. I think the major thing about um, the location of your business should be the caliber of people that you actually want to portray yourself to. Exactly. You heard it from her when she said. When she first started the business, there was a lot of backlash. There was a lot of people thinking, I hope this one that is charging us this amount for just a birthday party. What is she bringing? But I I think with what you said, when they see the service you provide, they're always like, oh, it's worth it. Of course. And most of my, my, my previous clients, okay, about 60% of them, have, they actually came from jobs that have been mm. referrals not even really the referrals okay. i mean saying i believe in it the guests okay yeah, they, yeah. at the party you know that me and then they, they loved it and they they imagine this for their children wow and that's how we've been growing wow. it wasn't like we were busy just um, sharing flowers or the words of the money it works it was my work our work Wow. Yeah, actually, sorry for using the mile and hour because I believe my brand is also our brand. You know, and then you know, the city too, which is our city, by the way. I'm, I'm, I'm actually proud of her because she keeps on saying my city. I like the way she packs the lies in the Ibadan. Just for you to know that she has actually enjoyed, after, um, after enjoying, she has enjoyed everything she should in the city of Ibadan. So it's a beautiful thing when you are in a location and you're actually growing in it. Before exactly. I let you go, ma'am, okay. let's say, because I am sure that my audience will actually need your service with all the beautiful things that you've told us today. You know me? Wait. Let me see. When is my son's birthday? Oh, don't worry. If we want to come in contact with you, I and mean, we want to contact you, anybody needs your service, can you tell us your handles and how we can get through to you now. okay uh physical office is located directly opposite akara with junction okay. yeah okay and our uh, instagram page is at these kiddies events okay uh we are also on twitter at these kiddies eve okay. and then on facebook at these kiddies events okay and youtube at these kiddies events as well you can contact us via whatsapp on 090-570-94244 there you have it these students she's on twitter she's on whatsapp she's on instagram she's even on youtube she's always at our back and call just a dm away yes so my beautiful audiences it's a beautiful time and 
a beautiful way to say thank you to my amazing real gem today. I thank you for coming on our show. And um, I pray you expand Amen. even beyond your city of Ibadan. Hello. Yes. I want you internationally. Of course. I want you to be called in the UK, the US, anywhere we can go to. Yes. I want yes. to be hearing these kids everywhere. Yes. And yes. I want you to travel. You should be able to travel at your restaurant here in Ibadan. Yes. Can you hear that? Yes. I told you now, I don't bring rubbish. Yes. I do correct, correct. So she's available to travel all our clients in the UK, the US, Dubai, South Africa, maybe anywhere across the globe. She'll be there at your service. Thank you so much for being our show. So there you have it, my amazing audience. You've heard from my guest today, my real gem. She has um, shared with us her experience in the business world. She has shared with us how she started, the number of years she has been in the industry, the things she has faced, the things she's facing, how she conquered her fears and how fast she has come. You as well can actually be all this and more if you stay tuned to Cargo Niger, if you stay tuned to the Real Gem Show that will be coming out to your screen every week. You know when Mama Sita brings anything to the table, she's the whole table and the table is always set right. So until I come your way again next time, don't forget to click the subscribe button Turn on your post notification because when I drop the banger, you should be the first person to see it. Until I see you again on our next episode of the Real Gem Show, stay with the passers.